Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to talk about one of the new hottest stars of Street Outlaws, Jim Howe. Jim had an incredible breakout year in season 5, debuting his brand new 1967 Camaro named The Guardian. He dominated the Invitational class, taking home victories in Norwalk, Ohio and the season finale at the Texas Motorplex. Despite missing five events due to waiting on his new car, Jim finished an impressive sixth in overall points. Jim said, We were out there in season four, getting our teeth kicked in. I was running my drag radial car that was never intended to run NPK. I kept telling everybody, when I get a car that's built for this, you guys are in trouble. Once we got the new car sorted out, it was absolutely a game changer. With a successful background in radial racing, Jim's decision to switch gears and enter the world of no prep kings might have surprised some, but Jim believes it was a necessary move. Jim said, with gotten stale in radial, I had a very dominant year in 2019 and won the championship. However, the payout was horrible. You don't build a quarter million dollar car to go run for a trophy and a piece of bubble gum. I went to a No Prep Kings event in 2018 and had a great time. We looked at it and said, this speaks to everything I want to do, a bigger payout and an organization that provides exposure for their racers. And the fans at an NPK event are second to none. The amount of energy in the air, the amount of people, it's a completely different feeling. That's what decided it for me. Jim's success with his combination, a screw-blown Hemi with a Liberty 5-speed transmission, brought its own set of challenges. For Season 6, Jim must add 50 LBS to his current setup. But Jim also acknowledges that NPK can re-evaluate the rules after three events and make changes if necessary. To stay one step ahead, his team has been testing with a roost blower, which comes with a significant weight break. And that's where the gym and cardio routines come in. Jim said, I couldn't quite get to weight, so that meant I needed to try to lose some weight myself, which is the cheapest way to lose it. I'm down 38 to 40 LBS from where I was last year. Jim also joined forces with John Odom in Season 5, and their partnership quickly proved beneficial as both drivers finished in the top 10 in points. With a full season under their belts, Jim envisions even bigger things this year. Supporting Jim at every event is his dedicated crew, made up of his wife, Amanda, his son, Jimmy, and longtime friends, Dan and Chris Nusubam. It's a small, tight-knit group, and Jim laughs of rumors that he has former promo teams running his operation or benefits from professional funding. One thing is certain. Jim is having the time of his life competing at the highest level and seeing his time and effort rewarded with on-track success for both himself and John Odom. Well, there you have it folks. Jim Howe is gearing up for another exciting season of Street Outlaws No Prep Kings. We can't wait to see him and his team in action on the track. Make sure to stay tuned for more updates and behind-the-scenes footage. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.